following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is Mick Shots, streaming live on DallasCowboys.com and the official Dallas Cowboys app. Now, here are Bill Jones, Savannah Hugh Moeller, Everson Walls, and Mickey Spagnola. Well, two out of four ain't bad, Mm -hmm. but we are here for Mick Shots, and ever since present, Mickey's present, and coming out of the bullpen, Nate in Frisco. Come on, I am so happy that y'all, you know, y'all think of me, man. I mean, if every uh, Major League Baseball team would think of their bullpen... (laughs) When they're drafting, maybe they were, maybe they were have to be struggling midway through the season. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, what do we do now? Yeah. Right? Wow. Go overpay for a bullpen guy, even though the money ain't gonna change here. Uh, well, no, I, it ain't changing. No, the amount the amount of appearances doesn't doesn't stop you from coming. Right. Well, if but I yeah. knew Nate was gonna be with us, I would have wore my sweatshirt mm-hmm. too. Well, what you gotta understand Fight. how I'm dressed. See, uh, yeah. when you're a fat man and, and the weather's <laughs> acting up, I don't know whether it's going to be cold or hot after Jesse. Got hey, shirts oh, Lord, on man. with his, with his game, <laughs> his tube game socks, socks his on. His tube socks. <laughs> yeah. Time to play ball. So you either pull them up or shove them down, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, boy, we're off to a great start yes, here on Mick Shots <laughs> in the SWBC mm-hmm. studio. Bill Jones got called away uh, on assignment, and Savannah needed to take the day off. Uh, she had something to do that was planned a long time ago, mm-hmm. so it was going to be Everson and I, but now Nate's going to brighten up our day. I and wish I could, man. When I look at myself in the camera, like as a black spot. <laughs> <laughs> See, Everson, look at the camera. You got no light on you. <laughs> no, Jesus, y'all trying to black a brother out. Uh, <laughs> hey, Chris, that's a new meaning to say stand by, stand by, bl- uh, blacking out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, forget Nate, man. Yeah, right. B- Bill Jones, now he's not showing up, but he did send us all of his yeah, information. Yeah, I got his. You I got, got his picks, and yeah. I got Savannah's picks. Mm-hmm. About the uh, touchdown, did, did you hit him? With I the didn't touchdown? ask him about the first touchdown. We okay. just found out what the pod uh, pick mm-hmm. is. So uh, we will carry on and get you ready for Cowboys. Well, he Giants still he Sunday. still has Jake Ferguson. Oh yeah, yeah. He says touchdown in three straight games. So. Yeah. Well, that was by mistake because he was just qualifying what his pick was. In uh-huh, uh-huh. And he knew nothing about the pod oh, pick. Well, so it might be a good a good choice. Well, if he's listening to mm-hmm. us. Now, Savannah said she would listen to us uh, while she was driving. So uh, we'll get going here. The Cowboys are out doing their Friday walkthrough. It looked like a little bit more extensive than a just regular walkthrough. They were they've been out there for a while. No, they're, you think they're, Coach they're breaking the sweat. Y'all? They're breaking the sweat yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think Coach McCarthy heard y'all criticizing <laughs> his, his off data a couple of days ago? They want to try to make up something, y'all. We all. I was all for Coach McCarthy doing this. It made me kind of feel kind of bad. <laughs> no, we didn't criticize them. We just said they didn't do as much uh, at the time they normally do it, mm-hmm. uh, on Wednesday. But uh, they're going through the. Uh, I, I guess it's like kind of like play practice. Right? Yeah, they're ramping up. Yeah. Yeah, and tomorrow will be a, a bigger and Little, better deal. Yeah, they ramping up. No, no helmets. Yeah. No helmets on today. But they yeah. are running around. They better be careful out there. And they did put helmets on Wednesday too, yes. by the way. So getting ready for these Giants that are two and seven. And I'm going to ask both of you guys to start this. Um, so I'm sure everybody's worrying about the Cowboys taking the Giants lightly, overlooking them. Uh, did you ever feel that way playing? Did you, you noticed it? I never did. I'm one of the slowest guys on the field. So every <laughs> – come on, man. I mean, I can't sit there and just chill. You're going to be casual. And you got guys running 4-4 running by me all the time. I know right. they can run – at any time, a wide receiver can run by me if I'm not concentrating right. Right, right. That's just – that's my game. That's the way I had to play my game. Right. I wasn't, like, really fast where, you know, I could just let a, a, another fast guy just come up on me and, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm running with him. It's okay. <laughs> no, that's not me. I'm, I'm every you man all on me. <laughs> I am trying to struggle to keep up. And I've had some people catch passes on me that I have no idea what their name is. So yeah. I have to struggle and, and be 
uh, all the way down. They Brandon one hundred. Brandon Cooks. You think Brandon Cooks? Man, man, I, no way. It's no way. A little bitty guy like that. Yeah. I'm gonna hold his ass. I am holding his ass. You, you can just you can. I'll, 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 I'm going for one a game. Right. The referee will give me one a game. I'll take that. I'll take that pi. I hear I'll you. take that pi. And you trust that if he did it two or three times, he'll only call it once. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. my arm what's boy gets better each time. What, what, what's the most you ever got in a game? Two. And who? What game was that? Saints. Okay. You yeah. remember. Yeah, Who I were do. you playing then? Nobody. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. I got to be careful, man. Yeah. I just I didn't have that ability, you know, to just go out there. You know, I could play smart, but it was, if a guy wanted to just try and run by me, you know, it's, it's, I, I, he's going to meet he's gonna meet that arm bar. I remember one time you told Manny in a game, it was young, young in his career, and Coach Landry – Said the same Manny thing, and he was Manny, Manny Hendricks. Hendricks. Yeah. Manny Hendricks, uh, Utah University, of Utah yeah. basketball, basketball player. player. That's right. And it, it was a it was a preseason game. Dude double moved, and then Manny kind of rammed the ball hit that, and he and he batted it away at the last minute. Everson say, bro, in the game. You ain't recovered. <laughs> <laughs> in a real game. Yeah, you said, in you a real that, game. In you a real game. Recover. Yeah, and then Coach Landry came and said, son, right there. <laughs> you better be careful. You better be careful. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, two weeks later. Man, it's looking like walls out there trying to catch him. Oh. That might have been when Tom, uh, no, no, if it was Tom, then yeah. I wasn't on the bench yet. Yeah. yeah, Jimmy put me on the bench. but Right. No, no, Tom was... Yeah, Tom had my back on that yeah, one. Yeah, you better be careful now. Oh, man. So do you ever, ever remember taking one for granted? I was like Everson. See, something about free agency. I think that's what it is. Something about yeah. free agency. And, and HBCU. Yeah. And HBCU. And they always look at the replacement. <laughs> that's right. Oh, I couldn't make. I couldn't afford to do that. I had Kevin. It was a th- uh, Kevin Gogan, myself, Gisick. Yeah. Then it was Kevin Gogan, myself, and someone else. And you, you, you were literally going injury, uh, a couple of bad games, mm-hmm. and you will find yourself in that swing guard position. I never wanted to be in the swing guard position. So what and about everybody I played against was more athletic than me? How about not from playing standpoint, but preparing? Mm-hmm. Do you ever relax in your preparation? Well, I didn't have to work into Step left. Step Noski, when he left, I had Tom Rafferty telling me what to do before mm-hmm. that. Then I had mm-hmm. Step Noski. Right. But when they left, I had to start preparing. Right. So, hey, <laughs> I'm being <laughs> honest. Take care of yourself, yeah. right? Because, I don't know, you, you, you're you coming off a loss. I can't imagine that they're just being casual out there. Well, I, this is a loss, but everyone is, you know, blowing that smoke. Yeah. You know, everyone's telling them, including myself, I'm sure everyone, man, you guys almost won that game. You guys deserve to win that game. And so we're not, we don't have the same feeling that we had coming out of San Francisco. And you know, plus, with, and remember, playing I, a team that beat you beat forty nothing. Right, yeah. exactly. Remember, I, I was texting y'all the other day, teasing y'all about. Yeah, not mm-hmm. can we about talk about New York? Yeah. Then I, we got on my show that followed, and we didn't talk either about yeah. New York. Well, I, well, so we are. Yeah, <laughs> we, we made a turnaround are, yesterday. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we were taking the light. We, right. Okay, so yeah. we're not going to do that anymore. We want. We don't want to leave that. That atmosphere. Sometimes the media thinks because they're taking it like, then oh, the team's mm-hmm. probably doing the same. I hope they don't think that because these guys here, they, to me, I think they hit a stride, and when you hit a stride, you want to keep running. Right. You know, you don't want to hit that stride. And say, okay, I'm going to slow down. I'm hoping they they understand that because what they did show was, okay, we are not that San Francisco. We are not that team that was in San Francisco because everyone was judging us on that loss. Now, but here's another road loss against another great team, and it's a different feel. I want that. I want that. I don't want that feel to, to uh, placate us. You know, I want. Right. It, I want it to inspire us. You know what? I and I think everybody's trying to use the loss to Arizona as they took them lightly. Yeah. And and I think that's giving them a, a, a soft pillow to lay their heads on, uh, because. First of all, you got to remember they were missing three <laughs> starters on the offensive line. Uh, and the other thing is, my impression of the game was not that they <clears throat> took it so casually. They I, just got beat? They got beat. And, and I don't know if the plan was good or, you know, whatever they were doing defensively that Arizona figured out, oh, we should do this. Uh, 
I, I think we still should have beaten them regardless. 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 Cuz that's their only win yeah, so far, yeah. right? And see, that's one of those that's this is the moment. Nate, how big a, a of How big a crowd we hey, got? Guys, out there. Always go like, it keeps uh, coming. This is a train. I always, I always go like <laughs> 30, 60, 90, 120. That's $30 per person. <laughs> 300. <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 that's the way I look at it, though. I, I, want this, I want it to definitely inspire us instead of, you know, saying, okay, we can just, you know, hang out and, and live on our laurels, as they always say. So, right. Yeah, I, I, that I don't want. Well, and they can't afford that in, in my books right now. Uh, and they don't need to do this, right? they got to play the Giants and not worry about what's coming up. As a matter of fact, Dak said yesterday during his interview, he said, it, uh, you know, uh, if not for about an hour ago, I didn't know who we were playing next. Yeah. Somebody mentioned it to yeah. me. You know, and they get, it really shouldn't matter. Right. I mean, of course, you want to game plan certain things, but it shouldn't matter. You should just, man, I'm ready to play anybody, especially after the way we played in the last game. Now, what I saw was, to me, the difference is, and hey, he's got to take it on himself. Dak, to me, was the difference these last three games. He knows the offensive line is having problems. He is not going to sit back there and expect them to protect him to protect him in the best case scenario. He's always looking, I think, before the ball is even snapped. I may have to escape here and do some things. If he would have played the way he's played the last three games against that same way against uh, the Cardinals, we would have won the game. I, I just truly believe no, that. No, I think I didn't you're think right. he played well at all. I think he was trying to be too perfect. Yeah. And he needed to use his feet. And, and be a football player like you right. keep saying. Right, yeah. And you? Hey, man, I, everything y'all are saying is so key and so spot on. You know how I've been for the last four years, I've been upset with Dak. Mm-hmm. You know, to the point where I'm like, I'm turning on Dak. Mm-hmm. Now I, I got my old Dak The big back. games. The oh, man, big I'm games. so happy. The big now, games. So all we got to do is just find a way through short passes, uh, screens, whatever, draws to get some type of running game so he won't have to put everything on his show. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, man. I I just believe that we need a five-game winning streak. I think we just got to uh, just run through people, man. Yeah. Uh, just go out there. When, when Coach Landry had y'all rolling, it, it didn't matter who y'all played. Y'all – they they just y'all just ran through people. I was part. I was, we used to watch that yeah. on TV when Jimmy finally got us right. We just run through. Man, people. y'all sure did. So <laughs> don't 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 worry about who it is. We're you know it, they ain't ready for this. Like Mike Irvin used to tell us, you know what, fella, come on, fella, stop messing around during the game. Like hey man, stop messing around. He ain't saying as nice as I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Man, come on, dog. Let's let's just run through these guys. Do what we do. Yeah. Let's do what we, we do. do. Yeah. yeah. And, and Jerry <laughs> said it now. He said it. He said that if Dak would have played like this, you know, in some of the other games, we would have won. He said we would we would be in a much better position now if Dak would have played the last three games, uh, played the entire season the way he played these last three games. All you have to do is be smart. I, 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 none of the the only the none of the physical stuff in this game bothered me. It, all the mental stuff. Yes. Yeah, that's what bothered me. Not knowing where your toe at when you're turning up, not checking in with the official. That bothered me. Not picking the, the route, not the pick route. Lining up offside. Up. Yeah. That bothered me. The pregame, uh, the pre-snap, that all that physical stuff. That's gonna happen. Even with that kid, not, not believe. Even with that kid not making it into the end zone, you know. Uh, bang, it should have been done play. better. It yeah. should have been done better. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed. The to mental score. part bothered me. The physical part don't. So it's it. We have to be every team that you've been successful on. Coach Landry didn't even draft guys that they weren't smart. I'm That's just being true. honest. That's true. You need on this level. You need guys that can play above the shoulders, and that is what that is why we lost the games that we lose. We don't lose because we're not physically talented. We don't think in the when adversity hit. Do you go hysterical or do you are you the one that's hey sweetheart calm down mm-hmm. we got this mm-hmm. we're gonna be all right that's why we that's why we got insurance so you, you bump the car <laughs> that's why we got insurance you've already taken care. are you physically okay because mentally you're a wreck you know what I'm saying and that's what us mentally we are a wreck yeah yeah in you know, that game we were that's, that's funny you point out about uh, being smart 
my first uh, interaction on a consistent basis, my first year out of college, um, I was uh, getting to go down and cover the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Steve Bartkowski was the first pick in the draft. He was the quarterback. And they had some veterans on the guy. And my first uh, just interaction with those guys, I came out of the locker room and I said, these guys are all real smart. You know, it's mm-hmm. not – you were used to college, right, yeah. guys, yeah. you know, language and whatever. Right, right. But these guys were all smart and sharp. And I mm-hmm. said, maybe that's why they're here, Yeah. you know, yeah. or that's why they're here mm-hmm. this long mm-hmm. uh, because they're, they're, they're pretty smart about how to play the, the game. And I, I agree with you. And that, and that was – Oh, that was a long time ago, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you'll see, players are more well-rounded now. You can still have a little bit of dog in you. Right. Yeah. And still be smart. Yeah. You know, it, 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 you can blend it very well. Matter of fact, those are the guys that you want. That you was you? You don't want them to be too smart. Yeah, you that want was to have you? a little bit of dog yeah, in yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want a bunch of choir boys. No, we Springs. don't want that. Yeah. That was Spring. Ron Springs? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. talking about Stummies. Dorset. Springs was smart. That's why he played fullback. Fullback man, he was the smartest smart, team. man. I, I, I like, oh, this is the same dude that yep. they going to lead me right into trouble when we get off this field. <laughs> <laughs> Take me over to Nate Seafood. Play, like, yeah, eat up 800 pounds. Right. got to weigh tomorrow. <laughs> I, I just, that that is why we are not, the reason we are 5-3 and three is because we are not yet a smart team. Mm-hmm. When you you yeah. saw the games that we lost, uh, Cardinals game. Yeah, uh, I was secondary, not smart. Not smart. We, man. we I was telling you about I mean, when you have a quarterback running for forty and fifty yards. Yeah. If you have a secondary that's in tune to the play, your safety is going to stop that at fifteen. Yeah. There's no way it's going to go forty, right. fifty five. That just doesn't happen. Where are you? Do you not see the play? Or do you not see the quarterback as a safety? That's just inherent when it comes to playing the position itself. Our safeties, where – tell the fans where – is we play single high a lot? Do we play double back safeties or are we four across? How do, how do I – basically our lot secondary of, Mostly I see lot. single high. Single high? I see single high. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't think so I've seen a couple So what you're saying is Malik – Malik, either see, either Malik or Donovan yeah. should see this yeah. the majority of the time. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, one thing I, I've been thinking of, and I've been listening to other shows because I like to learn, I like to understand, is when I find out that all twenty two, all it does, and I'm begging people, and we do it on our show. I'm begging you, stop looking at the all twenty two. To prove your point. Right, like, right. Start looking at the all 22 to learn the little interest. Pronounce that for me. Intricacies. Intricacies. <laughs> yes. Yes. See how right. I just asked for help? <laughs> Let the all 22 help you right. and not hinder you. Right. So, I, and we got to take a break, but I'm going to give you a great example because everybody keeps pointing out on the past that wasn't a touchdown to Schoonmaker, yes. that Cooks was open. Well, if you watch it the way you're supposed to watch it, he read where he was supposed to go with the ball Mm -hmm. before the snap. Of course. And when he came up, he turned and he was throwing. And as he was throwing... Cooks breaks over. You don't have that, that is this is so ridiculous when we do this. You don't have time. This is a this is a bang bang play. I can't go, oh, let me take a look over here. And, and then, then I'm gonna go, go there. It's a bang right. bang play. Right. You're before, already locked before in. Before we go to this break, stop with the between the twenties play <laughs> in the red zone. Yeah. Between the twenties, you may get two point five seconds. In the red zone, you get one point two. That's what I'm saying. Stop with this foolishness, yeah. man. Yeah, oh, he's open. Yeah, he's open because everybody sees me looking over here. Because <laughs> yes. I, 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 I went to watch it and I thought, yeah, he's open. But and he's somebody was thrown, leaking in. He's on already it. thrown the pass. And somebody and was, was leaking yes. in on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he sort of pointed that out too. Yeah, I didn't want to call out the player. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody yeah. was leaking in on him, finna mm-hmm. crush him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we better leak on to a break <laughs> here on mixed shots, and we'll be back in a moment. 
I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. You know that sound anywhere. It's the crisp crunch of that first nacho chip. With its perfect cheese to sour cream ratio sitting atop a layer of delicious beans, it's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. The Medal of Honor is our country's highest military award for valor in combat. More than 40 million individuals have served in the armed forces since the Civil War. Fewer than 4,000 have received the Medal of Honor. The National Medal of Honor Museum will be a place to preserve these legacies and inspire America. It's being built right next door to the Dallas Cowboys in Texas. Help us honor our country's greatest heroes. Learn more and get involved at mohmuseum.org. Cowboys football and Miller Lite. What a pairing. Can cracks a kickoff. Tailgates going way past postgame. Sunday night overtimes followed by Monday morning swagger. Brisket in the smoker. Miller Lite and the cool. America's team playing America's greatest sport. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys football tastes like Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. 2023 Miller Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. Back, back to mixed shots. K-Post Roofing and Waterproofing, the official roofer of the Dallas Cowboys. There you go. And, Chris, you got to say Go Everson. You didn't say my name, man. You... I didn't know who was going to read. Oh, Sorry. okay. My bad. My bad. Well, we knew it wasn't Savannah, right? <laughs> right. I, I wasn't going to say Go Savannah. Right. Y'all just <laughs> say nothing. I was looking forward to that, Chris. You had never said go that Go Everson. Before. Yeah, it's done. See, you got to have backup. You got to have good backup. As we continue here on Mix Shots, the Cowboys getting ready for these New York football giants uh, who are seeing I'm causing more problems if they're listening to us. The, the Giants scored 31 points in one game, and they're still only averaging 11 points a game. At one point, they were having a tough time just getting a touchdown, correct? So after 31, they scored 12 Three, 16, 9, 14 in a win, 10 and 6. Be- before that, what about before the 31? Oh, that's it, us. It was zero. Yeah, that was us. That's yeah. what keeps yeah. them at the 11. If you take that away, it's <laughs> yeah. about 16. So, so yeah. the 31 and the yeah. zero kind of yeah, washed, yeah, washed yeah. out, right? 12, 3, 16, 9, 14, 10, and 6. Uh, and and now some of the players are complaining. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, Xavier McKinney, he called out, uh, actually called out the coaching staff and uh, their off, offensive coordinator, mm-hmm. Wink mm-hmm. Martindale. He's mm-hmm. the offensive guy. He's right? defensive guy. Defensive he's guy. Defensive guy. He Coach Book Dayball is the guy, and then uh, that's right. he's got a guy up under him. But Coach Dayball is basically their, yeah. their mastermind, and, the head and, coach. And we basically told him to shut the <clears throat> up, and we don't need that. I, I tell you what, and I'm glad he did. Uh, in this league where players have a voice, a, a true voice, and that that is great, mm-hmm. but moan about something – that you can control because if you're trying to talk about an overall offense, mm-hmm. you don't know what's going on. If you, the pro, the only problem the New York Giants really have, Andrews. and it's been since day one, is a lack of offensive mm-hmm. line play. Yeah, Andrews. to the point where they're starting to get rid of defensive players to replace these sorry <laughs> guys that's on the offensive line. I'm telling you now, <laughs> the, the the only problem the New York Giant, if the New York Giants had. The Detroit Lions offensive line, mm-hmm. Saquon Barkley would have like 800 mm-hmm. or 900 yards mm-hmm. right now. He would be up for the MVP mm-hmm. right now. That's the only problem they have. 
So if a wide receiver and, 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 and Daniel Jones talking, will be, be doing quiet, well. quiet, man. You and know? Daniel Jones will be doing well as, also. Yes. He, well, he'd be still playing. He'd be still playing. You know, and we talked about it yesterday. Uh, Saquon, who you obviously have to worry about, in one more game than the Cowboys have played, only has 25 more yards of rushing than Tony Pollard. Mm. So, you know, everybody says, well, they're just going to run it and run it. Well, the one game, what did I tell you yesterday? They ran it 52 times, mm-hmm. and they still – And he, he ran for like 30-something times. Yeah, yeah. So, the offensive coordinator is Mike Kiffa, K-A-F-K-A. Kiffa. Is that pronounced right? Kafka. Kafka. The former uh, – yeah. Uh, he's the former uh, University of Miami quarterback. He's going to be former again. If <laughs> he's going to be former again. He was playing. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you know it's, it's like anybody Somebody going to take this fall now, fellas. I'm telling you, somebody finna take a fall this year. So, uh, yesterday, I, I give Terrence Steele – uh, credit, uh, he stood in front of his locker. He stood in front of the fire line and took every shot. Did right? I, 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 I went to cut. <laughs> I don't, man, come on, y'all. Huh? What, did they, what did they do to him? They went no, out they just rapid asking, fire? He just asked the questions. Asking questions, and he answered them. So when you watch him, what do you think? I, I know the injury. I know coming back. But from a fundamental standpoint, his technique, his technique as the game going just get worse and worse. He, he, instead of bending at the knees, he start bending at the waist. He start reaching out. He lose, you know, he he lunge. He he's a physical guy. He's a handsy guy. Yeah. He's a, and he wants to get hands. He because if he get his hands on you, he a beast. Mm-hmm. But now they won't even let him put his hands on. Him. So he lunging. He bending over at the waist. You know, double man, you get a double move or a bending over at the waist. And you're not bending your, you know, knees. Yeah, Damn. he just. You think it's the injury? Yes, he, I thought he just had like the inside up blown out, maybe the outside blown. Mick says was his whole knee was the triple. Entire, the triple. He had the yeah. triple crown. How in the world? Please, Miss Britt, 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 Dan, please don't get mad at me. I know he's medically cleared, but it that ain't showing up. I understand his knee is a hundred percent, but that is not showing up. This dude has lost a little bit of his go-go juice, man, up here. And when it, I don't care how physically gifted you are, when you start losing confidence, everything just go to haywire. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, Coach Dolores, and hey, man, your technique. Don't abandon your technique. That is the only thing that's going to save you down the road. He got to get his technique back. That's a good point. See, and I, they got to run the ball. I saw a couple of things, two of them, um, when the, the guy got around him. He let the guy get into him, and then he just slipped around. Well, the thing about it, instead of him trying to punch the guy and stay back, he let the guy get too close, mm-hmm. and then he tried to punch the guy, grabbed his mm-hmm. arm. And pulls this stuff around. Yeah, yeah. And so now that's, that's, when all, that's yeah. all footwork, though. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah because footwork. he's getting outflanked, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, just, I'm telling you, when you when you start losing your confidence, you go to trying to try things. You forget about your basic technique. You know, you forget about uh, like you know cover two, y'all fanning peep to the outside. Yeah. Well, if you don't got beat a couple of times, you trying to get head up. <laughs> you don't forgot about cover two. You know what I'm saying? You Are might you even follow him all the way across yeah, the field yeah, in the zone. Yeah. Right, so right. You, you'll forget. <laughs> Technique, I'm telling you, when you start losing confidence, ain't nothing worse in the world for offensive linemen or cornerbacks to lose confidence because it's going to be obvious because everybody, the quarterback going to pay. Or you, your safety is going to pay. They're going to be like, hey, man, is you ever going to run down the field mm-hmm. with this guy? You're right. No, nah, man, well, I thought we was in cover two. You knew we went in cover two. We're in single high. Come on, man. And you can be overly aggressive sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that Gilmore sometimes can be a little bit over, overly aggressive. Trying to hide his age. Is that what You're it trying is? Trying to hide his age. Well, because, you know, when you have that, you can tell that they have a cover three thing going right. at times or maybe a cover four, however yeah. they want to play it. And he's still he's he's so locked in on the wide receiver. 
You can't be locked in on the wide receiver because you have an area. You don't have the man. Once he, when he vacated, you've got guys all inside for that. But then here comes someone on the outside into his area, and he's nowhere to be found. We don't know. To this day, they haven't said that that was Gilmore's play. Right. You know, you know what play I'm talking about. Yeah. He was, yeah. it was, the guy was all alone. <clears throat> Those are the kind of things that you don't want a veteran to make, and it may be because that veteran may not have felt good about himself that game yeah. or trying to get a little payback. Yeah, you know he's locked yeah. in on this guy because this guy's been yeah. toasting me a little bit. Right, right. So we, you know, we got to stay away from that and be smarter as a secondary. Period. Yeah, that That's word so young again. back there, man. Yeah, that word smart. Yeah, as a secondary, especially once again. That, yeah, we yeah. we have to be a smarter football team. If we're a smarter football team, we're in better position. The, you, there were times when you guys made uh, on the field adjustments, right? Yes. Uh, there are times in this in in our games, the ones that we lost, especially they run in the same uh, run and play with the same action up front. I remember uh, Harvey and 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 Randy and those guys. They made a, an adjustment on the field. Okay, guys, they keep running the same play. I think it was some type of fold block right, or something right. up the middle. And you know, Randy would say, "Hey, this time I'm not playing like this." He tell Bob Brunett. I'm not going to play it like this this time, right. okay? They're, 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 this is the move that we were waiting on. They got right. us last time. We're not going to let that happen again right. because it happened two times in a row, something like that. They made the adjustment on the field. I don't know if these young guys can do that. So we got on to this part of this uh, discussion talking about, you know, kind of must wins. you got to string some games together. Do you remember in 91 – when you were sitting there at six and five, mm-hmm. and Jimmy basically said, "For us to get in the playoffs, we got to run the table." Right. Yeah. And your impression on that was: Were you able to take it one game at a time? You, you are. You are. And uh, and and I know Coach McCarthy is good at this because we always seem to lose and then win. Yeah. So he got to be good at single games. Mm-hmm. So come back. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So back. he, fellas, I'm, I'm telling you, y'all. Can, I'm not basing our whole season off of this, but if we don't run off five straight games, we gonna when we get to the playoffs, it's gonna be ugly. That's all I'm gonna say. You got to be able to win, you know, win the games you're supposed to win. And I'm and I'm saying this about all other shows. I am so sick of hearing about the Washington Commanders. <laughs> They do not play well, and they do not play together. They are an <laughs> NFC East team, but they do not play well. They can have a defense. If they wanted to, they could hold anybody in the league to 12 points a game. That's how great their defense was. Where are they not? They trading players. Don't tell me how good. Hey, you know that Washington game. They're going to play us tough. <laughs> Just like the Cardinals used to play us tough. But guess what? We beat them. Yeah. Don't, don't tell me about guys playing tough. They ain't going to hang together. All you got to do is be smart, mm-hmm. and you'll beat them. Yep. Because if you don't let them hang around because then all of a sudden they start thinking, oh, maybe we can mm-hmm. do Somebody this. Somebody in the game, gonna, I'm going to tell you, out of the two Bama boys, they either going to start fighting. You know, <laughs> Chris Young is gone. They done tra- traded another Sweat, guy. Sweat's Go, gone. Sweat, they, they don't play together. That's the only reason you break up a, a, that, that foursome. Yes. That, that front four. Well, it's a good thing we're together here on Nick Shots. <laughs> <laughs> they don't play together, man. And coming up, we'll give you some picks and picks to click here <laughs> on DallasCowboys.com. How much gas did I get? <laughs> the Medal of Honor is our country's highest military award for valor in combat. More than 40 million individuals have served in the armed forces since the Civil War. Fewer than 4,000 have received the Medal of Honor. The National Medal of Honor Museum will be a place to preserve these legacies and inspire America. It's being built right next door to the Dallas Cowboys in Texas. Help us honor our country's greatest heroes. Learn more and get involved at mohmuseum.org. Cowboys football and Miller Lite. What a pairing. Can cracks a kickoff. Tailgates going way past postgame. Sunday night overtimes followed by Monday morning swagger. Brisket in the smoker. Miller Light and the Cool. America's team playing America's greatest sport. Miller Light, the only beer of the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys football tastes like Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. 2023 Miller Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. 
I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. You know that sound anywhere. It's the crisp crunch of that first nacho chip. With its perfect cheese to sour cream ratio sitting atop a layer of delicious beans, it's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. <sighs> back, back to Mick Shots. Experience the most electrifying event of the holiday season. Cowboys Christmas Extravaganza, powered by Reliant. Every Friday and Saturday night from November 17th through December 16th, Cowboys Christmas Extravaganza ignites the star in Frisco with an unforgettable holiday performance showcasing 65 performers, including the world-renowned Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, Santa Claus, and appearances from your favorite Dallas Cowboys football heroes. Visit the thestardistrict.com for more info. Oh, wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Yeah, we. I've been practicing. Can't make fun of ever since <laughs> the league. The league. I hate the league. I hate the NFL league. I mean, do what? The, what do you mean, the Cowboys? Where are you mean, going? The Cowboys <laughs> score touchdowns, and we used to get penalized. All of this right here. Then they let Green Bay jump up in the stands. They no. let all these. I mean, all the stuff that we got. Hurt. A, we jump in the. What about the boat? We jump in yeah. the, the Salvation the Army boat. Yeah. But, you, but people can jump. You know, <laughs> and Zeke go out every year and give and, and donate to the Salvation Army in the league. One, come on, man. I hate the league, man. What go ahead. I'm at, sorry. Man. What, well, what? I just looked at a dude jump up in the stands and be party with the fans. <laughs> Let one cowboy fan jump up in the stands and party. Hey, that that's that's an unfair yeah, advantage. Man. You know what I'm saying? Do you, Do you think they still find guys for? Putting the throwing the ball in the in in the I, I don't even they, know they do that. I'm sure they do because uh-huh. yeah. now they just go hand it to somebody well right? no they they throw if they throw it then a play they say someone it's can a, get a hit missile that somebody can get hurt somebody that's get what hit, they yeah. say I'm like you know man people don't knock each other teeth out trying to catch that football <laughs> come on man stop the stop. head button in the stands yeah man I'm like <laughs> no helmets <laughs> anything anything that's why I, it, it, <laughs> I, I look at this show man I look at Everson and I'm saying to myself. They are putting dudes in there with 15 interceptions over a five-year career in the Hall of Fame. Don't start me, man. They, they got dudes, midgets, in the Hall of Fame, man. That ain't, ain't never tackled nobody for a loss. They, I, I'm like, wow, how did this Tom happen? Tom Landry made us tackle. He made us tackle. Oh, we couldn't geez. get away with no, it. No business decisions? No, we could not get you away with it. You business if you won't. <laughs> you would be, you'd be, be sitting bad on the bed. business. Yeah, yeah, man, you'd be in the locker room on the toilet with some bad business, boy. <laughs> and I think, Come on, man. I think that's the way we. Uh, I try to look at this team. You know, Tom Landry used to, and, and almost any coach, Belichick, they would go over in detail. Thank you. Anytime you made a mistake. Okay, this is what has to happen next time. They weren't afraid to embarrass you. They weren't afraid for you to get pissed off and, and mumble something from the back or yell something from the back. They were going to continue to coach. Regardless, and, and, man. And correct. Yes. And so, you know, when you see, like I said, the secondary doing these kind of things, you know, has anyone showed them the error of their way so that they don't continue Make to same, do that? Same mistake. And, and right? I, I don't, these guys now, like I said, we have a lot of power as players and we fought for that. Right. You know, but the players have to also be humble enough to know when I'm screwing up and I need to come to grips with what I'm doing. So before we get to our picks, real quick, you're playing against a rookie quarterback, undrafted, <clears throat> making his first NFL start. What do you got to do? You just bring everything. You bring everything. No mercy. Don't sit back and say, okay, let's see what they do. You know, let's just see, like, going through practice. I wish I, I, wish I was living in Philadelphia. Bring it at them. Bring I wish it I, to I wish him. I was living in Philadelphia. I'm serious. <laughs> I see him sitting at a window. I just take a brick. 
We coming all day. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I just let's just, let's, let's make him afraid it. from day one. We from coming at you. One. I'll from have him looking and be like, I'm bringing no less than five on on play one. I'm bringing no less than five, almost the entire game. You got to show me that you can do this or do that. We're not going to let you run the ball, putting the, putting it in the quarterback hands. I'm not going to let Saquon Barkley do anything that he wants to do. Shut him down first. Scare the hell out the quarterback. And yeah, let's move man. on to the next game. That's the way I see it. Put it away. Put it away, the, man. Yeah, Put it away. Put it away. Save yourself for another day. And that's, I'm speaking so, defensively. I'm speaking defensively. Right? I'm yeah. just, man, and I was scoring on the first drive. I'm on offense. I don't care if it's three. I'm scoring because I know they're going to panic. As soon as I score, this game is over. So as quick as I can score, I, I want the ball. Offense, they flip the coin. Hey, bro, don't even flip the coin. Hey, fellas, y'all can have them. I, would, I, would I even, want the ball. I would even risk a, a, a fourth down. Yeah, I would even risk first drive if I have I'm to trying to score, go for man. it on fourth. But they down. can't show I, me you can stop me. Thank you, thank All right. you, man. Having said that, hmm. you usually lead us off with the picks. All right, I got it. But what you got? I'm getting fired up over here. Nate, I go, man. Like I, I, Cowboy gonna beat these boys a hundred to nothing. Come on, man. A hundred got Nate to down. nothing. A hundred to nothing, man. Come on, dog. We gotta play. For, we gotta play the Cowboys. We gotta play for the Cowboys, not for them. You gotta. You gotta. Who's gonna be the star player? Yeah, the oh, star man. player. Yeah. Uh, Dak. Okay. Dak gonna throw for four hundred yards and seven touchdowns. Come on, man. <laughs> if I'm, I'm trying to get you a hundred to nothing, I'm serious, bro. All right, Everson, you're up. All right, I'm going to go a little bit more reasonably. Uh, I'm going to go Cowboys have to go at least 30 points against this defense. So I'm going 30. Uh, 30 they ain't got four, the two players. 30 to 14. And I'm they going 30 around. to 14 okay. Cowboys. I'm looking for. 14? Yeah, yeah, let's, give, let's go 14. When? We're going to bring in the, the second team. We're going to bring in the second team in the fourth quarter. Okay. And well, you say so. I trust your judgment. Quarter. Yeah, we're, we're not going to play everybody. Who's your play? Who's your, who's your player? My, my player is going to be, I'm going with defense. Okay. They're gonna, I think my secondary is going to get off today. We're going to talk. We're going to go with Bland. I'm going with Bland. He's going to have at least one oh, interception. Oh, man, you just took my Ah. <laughs> okay, and Savannah with the right in. Oh, vote. go ahead, Savannah. Uh, she picked the Cowboys to win 35-10, and Donovan Wilson would be the player. We need for you to That's show up, Don. One. That's you a good one. It's been That's weeks, bro. I need to see you. Yeah, I haven't seen him. And yeah. then I would go next and – she she picked my score. <laughs> I had thirty five ten written down before I checked her. How are we giving these dudes? In Come on, that's the ten. third, the third team, man. It's ten. They're professional players. They're still professional I players. I told you. Are they really? <laughs> I told you they. Danny had to be You want to shut them out? Danny you think DeVito. we're gonna hold them to a uh, no points both games? Yes. Shut the team out. got worse. Did the, t- <laughs> did the team get physically better or did the team get physically worse? They got physically worse. worse. Now, it, it, so you're saying Danny DeVito, is, uh, Tommy DeVito is smarter than Daniel Jones in running his office. I don't think so. <laughs> Barkley, gonna go, Barkley leaving out this game. Barkley like, after about, I'm done. After about the 20th carry in the first quarter, he was like, you know what? This ain't happening. <laughs> You know what? I, uh-huh. I wrote down Deron Bland. Mm-hmm. I'm going to change it to – I'm going to be stubborn. Go with DeMarcus Lawrence. DeMarcus Lawrence. Once again. He I'm changing well mine too, man. I'm yeah. going with Dak Ferguson Pollard. Okay. And then <laughs> Bill Jones is – oh, you're going to love this. He's picking the Cowboys to win 19-3. to Mm-hmm. <laughs> He said he was basing it on the late game in December from 2003. Bill can come up with it, man. But he apologized. Yeah. He can come up with it, man. And his player is Jake Ferguson mm-hmm. with the touchdown in uh, his third Fergie, that's my boy, game. man. That's my boy, too, Nate. Fergie, yeah. I love him. Yeah, he got the thing that's wrong with Bill is that Bedlam thing got him. That last <laughs> that old, that old, that old Oklahoma game got him, boy. Oh, he never spoke yeah, of that. Yeah, he, know, he came yeah. back here and he never he spoke, spoke of it. Yeah, man. He like They, they, they want to ignore that game <laughs> like it was never played. Oh, man. The last Bedlam game for a while. And the pod pick is who's going to get the first sack of the game, either team. I gotta say Parsons. Yeah, we we don't have any 
any limit on yeah, picking we had, we, parsons. Yeah, right? we that was last year. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do, we hadn't done that this year. We haven't limited that this year. You got year. a guess? First sack of the game either either team. Man. I just ride with Evans and Putt Parsons cuz I need him to start fast. I need five defense to be dominant real quick. We want No, nah, so I'm going with number 95, Hankins. Hankins. Yeah. That's funny. Just bull right up the middle, my man, and get you set. I was going to go the same thought and give it to Odigizua. Mm. So I don't know that's a good kid name after three years. That's a good Odigizua. It's good. Odigizua. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me say it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we got a clean sweep here. I was looking at the New York Daily News, and it was a clean sweep for mm-hmm. the Cowboys, too, mm-hmm. by the way. It should be. Like Nate said, I mean, I, I, I'm tired of these games where we, we, we show too much respect. Let's just come out there and just, just treat them like practice. Well, I'm going to circle this 100 to nothing. <laughs> Telling you, man. <laughs> Telling you, that man. That might be the best. If Miami can score 70. We ought to be able to score uh, <laughs> score a hundred, yeah, <laughs> or at least hold them to zero. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right, Nate. Thanks. Thank you all. Appreciate man. you, Nate Panda, helping us out man. there. Good Everson. stuff. Mr. Yeah, Van, I don't know where yet. Bill, we don't know where yet, man. But come on to work. Y'all just take off like <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this ain't a normal job where you got so many days you can be off because y'all don't reach out. Hey, I got to admit, I'm, I'm the guy. I got to yeah. admit. I don't think guy. Bill was off. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He did have baseball. He did have parades. and Parade? Come on, man. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing he had an interview that he had to go to today. All right, that's it for Mix Shots. Appreciate you guys joining us, and we'll be back on Monday. Go Cowboys. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?